I'm here with Jeff, who just won for Frozen, and I was joking with him. I'm like, no one's seen your film. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's just been a tremendous, uh, phenomenal experience for everybody. We, it, it has done a lot better than even we were hoping for. I'm just, I'm, we're, we're just thrilled by it. No, it's been, it's a phenomenon, honestly. It, it seems that way. Uh, it's interesting. I've been with Disney for 20 years now, and for the past 20 years, we've always heard about Lion King, Lion King, Lion King being the benchmark. And it's kind of nice that now it's going to be frozen, frozen, frozen. So, yeah, I'm very happy about that. It's like, oh, snap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, this must be, talk to me about editing for animation versus live action. You know, it's interesting. It's, it's very different. You know, in live action, they go out, they shoot all the footage, they give it to the editor, and they say, okay, make something out of it. In animation, it's exactly the opposite. We actually, I, I'm one, as an editor, I'm one of the first ones on the project, and we start making the movie with rough drawings and storyboards and trying to put something together, and then when we're happy with it, then we say, okay, now go animate this version of it. So we, we start at the very beginning, and as an editor, it's very collaborative, we're very hands-on, we're involved in the storytelling process and picking camera angles, it's, it's, it's wonderful. And then how is the transition from when you, you know, talking about that you kind of build it, you have the sh the temp voice actors and then you get the real ones in making that transition. Yeah, well, it, it's, it always just takes a huge leap forward. I mean, we have nice scratch people, but then when you bring in your professional actor, someone like Josh Gad or Kristen Bell, they're, they're phenomenal and they bring so much to the table and they love to ad lib and we encourage them to ad lib. And then it, it becomes more challenging for me because I have all this material and well, okay, I, I can't have a six minute sequence here. I got to kind I trim it down a little bit but it's just wonderful working with them and how did you end up editing animation is it something that you fell into or you were passionate about it always I've always been very passionate about animation Disney especially I actually started though working in uh, you know uh, commercials local television and you know that kind of ran its course after a while I couldn't do any more local car commercials and uh, an, an opportunity opened up you ran out of dealerships yeah exactly but uh, an opportunity opened up with the Disney Studios in Florida back in the early 90s and I was so lucky to get hired for it and just step by step it's led to this moment and I, I, I mean, it must be just the most wonderful feeling to know how many people have seen your film. It's phenomenal. And I'm constantly getting emails and comments on Facebook and, and calls from friends and relatives saying, you know, so-and-so uh, down the street, their, their, their granddaughter just saw it, has seen it six times. And I'm just hearing all these wonderful stories and people just love this movie. They're just embracing it. And it's, it's, it's all over the entire world. We also joke because you can go on YouTube and you can find all these wonderful videos and tributes and, and parodies and people singing the songs and it's just, it's phenomenal. No, it's wonderful. Well, congrats. Thank you I can't much. wait to see what comes next from you and the <laughs> Disney camp and enjoy. It's always fun. Thank you very much.